had some technical difficulty with our uh, I think I ground down my brand new gears. I love it. So what I'm gonna do is at least get a speed run in on my uh, Pelosi because it's ready to go. So just give me a second, I'll get her set up. This one I didn't screw the gears up on. Go <laughs> on, days. And one thing, it's another, right, guys? Just throw a little tape on our DPS. We got some rain coming, so I hope is to get her around 20. That's about the minimum I need for the track to be uh, race worthy, you might say. Make sure we got a GPS signal. Not bad, 26.1, but I think we can do better. Point one. That's great. That's absolutely great. Let's give her a spin and give us a little glamour shots. We just got done up for you. She's crushed us. She's got some speed. She's a little squirrely. She'll be good on the track probably. So no TTO2 run. Whoa, he almost got my toes. It's so fun. Uh, Surpass Hobby 2450. I think it's like a $23 upgrade or $24 upgrade. You, you can probably go on the grass with that thing. Yeah. See if we got any faster speed. 26.8. 8, 26.9, so almost 27 miles an hour. That's, That's like awesome. Thing. That's yeah, it was it was 17 with the stock. So, so we went 10 miles an hour by going. And this is with our Argenics, um, Argenics 2 
US uh, 2200 lipos. They're 50C. <laughs> Off the ground. Yeah, yeah, I get it. <laughs> That's cool. That's all right. Do some burnouts in this this gravel. Yeah, it's gonna start raining soon. Motor's a little bit warm. Yeah, it runs really good. Gears are meshing good. Everything else is good. Pretty happy. At least we got one running. One running. <laughs> so yeah, ended up 26 miles an hour, 26.9. It's not bad of for a $20 upgrade. $10, 10 miles per hour on a 116 scale. That's pretty crazy. Awesome. If you like and subscribe and all that. We'll see you when we see ya. Yeah.